What's up, Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine. It's your beautiful heart, your beautiful soul, your beautiful spirit. Welcome to the Karmic Circus. Where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. And you, some of you, if this is your first time, you're like, well, what the hell is a karmic ass a clown? Uh, uh, that karmic ass clown is uh, that one that broke your heart. Uh, that person that stole from you, that boss that lied on you, that neighbor that keeps fucking with you, yeah, that karmic ass clown. That family member, that cousin Faye that slept with your cousin, that slept with your man, yeah, that's a karmic ass clown. Mm -hmm. That karmic ass clown that came in between you and your man or you and your woman. That's a karmic ass clown. Okay. Yeah, that karmic that bust out your windows. That's a karmic ass clown. These are toxic energies that could be coming to us to collect. You can identify in your life where this piece of your piece of the puzzle fits. Okay. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonates with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. All right? So here's the energy of someone wanting you trapped. They tried to put you, you know, in some sort of situation and have you tangled up in some shit. But see, this person didn't, didn't know that you knew anything about healing, spiritual warfare, and all of this stuff. This person was trying to control you. Now, for some of you males, you could be a male, and this is a feminine energy trying to control you. Now, this mother, this could be your mother. This could be your child's mother. This could be an older sister, um, an aunt. It's a feminine energy for the masculine. Okay? And I believe for some of you masculine, this could be your baby's mother. This is a baby mama, baby daddy shit. Somebody's baby daddy or their baby mama was sent into your life to cause you to sin, to tempt you into sin, okay? So let's see what this person, because when they're tempting you, who is that? Hold on. Sorry about that. My cat, but I thought she was, she was trying to get in the pizza box, but my son came and got the last slice, so she didn't get shit. So she had jumped her ass up there and tried to get in there. I just heard her foots hit the ground. Okay, so back to your reading. This could be a karmic energy coming towards you. This could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor. This could be somebody who you recently detached from. This could be somebody that's coming towards you. Okay, this could be a neighbor. This could be an ex-baby mama or baby daddy. That's what I've seen so far. That's a control freak. Okay? So we're going to find out what is the energy surrounding the divine collective. Here's some sort of mind manipulations. Sex, mm -hmm. sex, uh, sex magic, sex manipulation. Here's that puppeteer right here. He in reverse, though. Yeah. It was somebody out here that was trying to keep you um, manipulated with sex. They were controlling you with sex. And they would keep you hanging. And you was hanging because of sex. Okay? Because of the intimacy. And I see you trying to go through a transformation. But this person, again, they were sent to you. To send to, you know, tempt you into sin. And here you are right here. You're ignoring them. They have their friends calling you. They trying to text you. You got messages coming from them and their friends. Their friends walking up to you trying to tell you something. But you're not using your instincts when it comes to a situation that this person was actually like trying to control you in some sort of way. They could have been trying to get you pregnant. This person was trying to put you in a Venus flytrap by having you sitting around waiting on them. So in the meantime, you start isolating yourself. 
And then when they come looking for you, they can't find you. This person is trying to contact you. And you sitting here looking at, you know, this is somebody who wanted you to be a secret. Mm -hmm. This is my secret girl right here. This is, you see how, how that moon is right there? That's secrets and deception. This person wanted you to be them to, for you to be in a secret relationship with them while they have somebody else. They got a main chick. They wanted you to be a side chick. So you're not talking to this person. And you was dealing with them, but you seen they was trying to control you by wanting you to be a side chick and, and them, you know, still still married or in a long term relationship with somebody. And you're like, no, no. And this person is in a long term relationship with somebody, but they, they got their friends trying to contact you. And you're like, no, you're not going to leave me hanging. They possibly told you that they was going to leave this person, but you wasn't using your intuition when it comes to this person. Okay. So tell me more. So let's see. This person wasn't showing no concern. I guess they figured you would never walk away. They was always giving you gifts. Or they were not a gift to you. They were not gifted. And you are. And this is why they were sent to you. The devil sent them. Okay. And some of you was truly in love with this person. And now some secrets just came out. Mm -hmm. yep. Duchess. I'm going to get your little ass. Get out of there. There's your chains. See some of you have moved. This is a narcissist. They took a risk with you. They feel like they're taking a good risk with you, but you moved. You moved while they, they left you hanging. <laughs> yeah, you packed up. You left. Or you got a new car or something. Could have changed. Uh, you could still live on the same street. You could have moved down the street. When they came back, you wasn't there. <laughs> if that's you, put it in the comments. See, I'm the one that moved and didn't tell they motherfucking ass shit. You didn't. You ain't about to control me. Why is the change here? Because you ain't wasting no more time on them. You say, I'm not waiting no fucking more. That's a bunch of clocks. You moved. You straight moved. Okay. Because this person is a narcissist. And it, he's out here twice. Because see this wealthy man. He's a narcissist. He buys people's, he buy people. He pay him to like him. <laughs> and he took a gamble. He could have been trying to pay you to like him. Playing mind games with you. Wanting you to be a secret. Because he got a wife somewhere. This wealthy man. He got him. He married. Okay, he ain't told you that though. This is why he kept you hanging, but he's trying to control you with money, saying like if he give you all this money, you're supposed to do this. You're like, fuck you, I ain't answering your calls. Yeah, you're not waiting. You're like, I'm not going to be your side chick. I'm not going to be a side chick. That's, that's. Thumbs up for that, Divine Feminine. You ain't finna have me hanging, waiting while you deal. Let's see what it was. What was his, this person doing while they had this energy, had the feminine waiting? What were they doing, Holy Spirit? Show me what were they doing while they had the feminine waiting? What is this narcissist doing? Getting karma. <laughs> They're getting karma because they masked and fell off. Mm-hmm. This they wife. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now he's sitting there looking stupid. Yep. See, while he dibba dabbling with you, his wife at home, he ain't talking to her. She done found out about you. Mm-hmm. She giving his ass karma. Oh. 
yeah. She giving him karma. So why is this divine masculine? She don't have the strength to deal with him no more. He was treating her cold. I'm finna get my cat. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know if my cat is... Is she playing with my dad's spirit, my niece? Because both of them passed away. You know, my dad, he didn't die in this house, but he died two months after he was here. And my cat, she's been just playing around a lot. Oh, thank you, spirit. So just how I said how my cat is playing around. This is how this person was playing around with you. Cat and fucking mouse. Ain't no mouse in here. It must be an invisible mouse, but cat and mouse. Here's the cat and here's the mouse. God damn. This person was playing cat and mouse with you. Playing chess checkers. Keeping you from going through a transformation possibly with somebody else while they still married. Damn. And they wiped them, found out. Mm -hmm. This is why they kept you hanging. Because they were dealing with their wife. And their wife could be a, a, a bar fly or this person could be a bar fly energy. A karmic energy that, you know, uh, searches for people who's in relationship. You may have been in a relationship. And if you was in a relationship and this person came to you. And you're now being said as the karmic or whatever, but this person came after you. They, my cat is, oh, wait a minute. Spraying her little ass with water. What are you playing with? And she likes for me to play with the laser too, so. She's like trying to get my attention. Like if you don't play with me, she is she is so uh, freaking demanding. I mean, she's very demanding. She's beautiful. But she's very demanding and she's spoiled. And she's running around because she wants me to play with her with this. With the laser. She likes to chase the laser. She said, you haven't played with me all day. And yesterday when I didn't pick her up. She climbed up and scratched the shit out of me trying to pull up to get to me. I was like, oh, hell no, you too big. You're not a little baby no more. She wasn't trying to hurt me. She was trying to get to me, trying to get for me to pick her up. So now I can't talk to her or anything if I'm not going to pick her up because her big ass will jump up and climb up. And when cats climb up and I got on thin pants, thin shirt, shit, I got scratches. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. This is this person was trying to anchor you down in a situation. You wasn't using your intuition, but now I see that you realize that this is a narcissist. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he was wearing a false mask. He's married. Just him and his wife ain't talking. They may not be living together, but they married. Yep. He's getting karma for doing this. You isolated yourself from him. He was given to you in the beginning, right? He was giving you, he was showering you in love. That was love bombing you. But while he was love bombing you, he after he made you fall in love, that's when he sprung on you that he was married or he's going through a separation or he's getting a divorce. Now, it could be true for some of you. He could really be getting a divorce. But I wouldn't be laying down with a man that's married in the first place. Because when you do that, he's never going to get a divorce. And it's somewhere in the Bible when you lay down with a married person. They're tainted. That person that lays down with a married person is tainted. And they have to ask for forgiveness and a bunch of stuff. So you're putting yourself in the devil's way when you go and you sleep with a married man. Regardless, he's saying they're not living together. They're separated. They live in different houses. Then papers still there. And if they got kids, baby, you wasting your time. If them, if, if this man is married and he got kids, 15, 
13 years old. Some of them got a, a child 23 years old, 12 years old, 28. You know, this, this masculine could be older. He could be younger. Okay? He could be older and have young younger women that's still in the childbearing ages. So he could have a bunch of kids, different ages. You hear, Duchess? She's playing with little things. I don't know what she's making noise with. It sounds like one of my little beads. So I'm going to stop this reading right here, you sweetie pies, you all. If this reading resonated with you and I helped you in some sort of way, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't... Well, I see here, you're just... You're not... You're not answering this person's call. You see the manipulation. If you don't see it, you should see it now. Okay? This person has a lot of friends when they come to your house or they come around. If you live with them, they have a lot of friends. That's rats, too. They hang around a lot of low vibrational energies. And you have to be low vibrational to be married and cheating. That's low vibrational. So scratch this person off your list. If, you, if this resonates with you and this person is married, I suggest you left, leave them alone. And then even after they don't, still don't deal with them because they didn't tell you. So that means you will get the karma for dealing with this person. And I know that personally. One of my cousins this happened to. She was messing with a married man. She knew the man was married. And she kept messing with him and he divorced his wife. And then he ended up some sort of way like him and her getting married, but it wasn't a real marriage or some shit. But he ended up cheating on her. And now she's feeling the same way that that wife felt when she was sitting in that same seat. So you got to be careful what you do and who you sleep with. Because that could be a married man. You better start asking questions and stop hopping the confirmation. Don't be just hopping in the bed with these motherfuckers. And if he with a, a wife, you never know. His wife... They could like threesomes and all of that weird shit. You, you better start asking questions. You younger generation. Stop all of that one night stand shit. That shit ain't cool. You don't, you, you don't know you could be laying down with the fucking devil. Motherfuckers that's playing with Ouija boards and shit. And if they telling you they ain't going to eat none of your spaghetti, you better leave them the fuck alone because that means they know about magic. You better learn how to protect yourself. Just like their grandmama or their mama or their auntie or their sister or somebody. Their grandfather told them, don't you eat no woman's spaghetti. They put their beard in that spaghetti, boy. All right? Yeah, and same thing. Ladies, don't you eat nothing. nothing uh, men nut. They spit. Their, their, their jewelry that they give you. Their manipulation tactics. They'll manipulate you. They'll buy you gifts and stuff. And you don't even want them. But they buy you expensive gifts. Fuck all of that expensive shit. That's toxic. Okay? So, I hope this reading helped you. And don't get mad at Auntie. Alright? This is Auntie Talk. And I treat everybody. Some of y'all may be older than me. But this is how I talk to my kids. And I explain things to them. I have four sons. I have 11 grandkids. 12 now. So I'm always, and I'm a security officer, so I'm always on the side of helping people and trying to, you know, let them be aware and be safe. And ladies, while I'm on that, if you're ever at a bar or anything, there's a, um, I want you to look up the angel drink, okay? Everyone that's watching this video, if you stuck around to the end, look up the, the term angel drink to a bartender. And then you pass that message on. To all of your loved ones, your daughters, your granddaughters, your sons to give to their wives, your sons to give to their girlfriends, your loved ones, males too. Because the angel drink is something that you, if you're in an uh, emergency situation, say for instance, ladies, you go on a, a blind date with a guy. Then you realize this guy is a pervert and you don't feel safe with him and you, 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 when the bartender comes up or the waitress comes up, you tell them you want an angel shot. Okay, whether you're in a restaurant or a bar, wherever you at, just say, I'm, I'm, I need an angel shot. 
and that's an alert for them to call either the police, call your Uber. They'll some kind of way get you away from this person without them knowing they'll handle it for you. Okay, so I need everybody to look up the angel shot, angel dream. It's something angel shot, and it's, it'll help save someone's life. Okay, I love you, and I hope you have a peaceful and blessed night. Peace out.